What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about why it is faster sometimes to use your keyboard to enter in commands to your computer versus using your mouse. Every day we use something called a graphic user interface, whether we use it on our phones, where it's easy for us to use our fingers to access the information, or we use it on our computers where we use our mouse here and we have everything else kind of put together. But back in the olden days of everything, people typed in commands into a computer. And I wanna to prove today that in some ways it actually is faster to type in commands into a computer than it is to actually run them with your mouse and keyboard. And today we're gonna to be actually taking a look at that. And I'll explain why later in this video sometimes it's actually better to use a command line. Now, I am not all GUI guy. I mean, not GUI guy. I'm not all command line guy all the time. I use the GUI on a daily basis. I love it. In fact, there are things that just make me not have to think about it, and it's great. It'll work, and sometimes, in some cases, it's faster. But if you know some tips and tricks to make it faster, then you might as well try to use the command line. So I just want to show you guys as the reason for it. Okay, so as I look at this computer here, I'm going to actually pull up a new prompt here, and we're going to have a, a stopwatch, as you can see. I'll just keep this in the middle. Okay, so right here we have our stopwatch, and I'm going to execute two commands. Now, granted, I can only do this as well as I can, so I'll spare a second for having to actually drag my mouse around, but that does have an effect. All right, so let's go ahead and get the IP address off of this computer versus a command line. So I'm going to hit the start button here. Okay, roughly I'll give it five seconds. Let's just say five seconds. And well, maybe maybe to be fair, 5.5. I just want to say we'll, we'll even we'll even discount the seconds here. Okay. We'll reset that. Now, the way I do it is a little differently during the day because it kind of makes life a little bit easier. Sometimes I have it pinned here. Sometimes I run a command and type in command. But, actually, I probably can type that in and it will show me, but it exits. But I'm just going to go and click on this and type in I. And you'll see why in a second, why, how fast it is versus typing in and going in and clicking on everything. So let's go ahead and hit start. Okay, L L roughly speaking, let's say two and a half seconds. Now, this was running a batch script, and that is why it was so fast. I actually is a batch script. Why is it a batch script? Because it's telling me to type in IP config. I made it as a little shortcut just to show and prove a point that it sometimes is faster if you think about what you're doing to actually do it this way. And bear in mind, I didn't exactly come up with this completely on my own. I took a class, I took networking classes, I learned the right way to do things from my professors, so I'm showing you guys here today on how to do it. So, I still wanna prove a point here too. So let's close this, we'll reset this. You saw that it took us about 5.5 seconds, as you see here, and we're just gonna type in the general command. So I'm gonna hit start, it's still quicker, eight, two seconds. And we'll, we'll do that as, as exact, I won't even discount it. So if you think about it, when you do this on a day-to-day -day basis, running these commands, it's actually quicker than boom, boom, start, blah, blah. So it actually, if you think about it, you should probably think about doing command line prompt if you want nitty gritty information. I also wanna show you guys something else too. If we look at this right here, I have a little thing that's set to run as administrator when I run this. And let's see, I'll, I'll try to run it in full screen so you guys can see it. Um, I have a little shortcut called Fing. And if I wanna view what's on my network and their IP addresses, I can also type in fing.lnk and be able to get an idea. Actually, I'm gonna do quick Fing because I made a shortcut for that and get an idea of what's on my network. So that'll give me a quick uh, run through on what's on my network here. And some of these will show my IP addresses, some of them will show the host name, 
And what's really cool is at the end, it will show me a graph on everything I need. Could I have done this with a command, um, with, with a graphic software? Yes, I could have. But nitty gritty information on a daily day basis, sometimes using as, a, as, as someone who works in this field, sometimes using it as much as I do, you want it quicker. You want it more streamlined. So try, if you can, in some cases, to, if you want to use the command line to do things that you have to do repetitiously to make your job faster. When I'm at home, I'm not really, sometimes I'm, I'm using the command line interface, sometimes I'm using the GUI. It all depends. I mean, I wouldn't use the GUI, for example, to um, make a directory or create a folder because I, I prefer to look at the structure and see the files in a visual sense. So there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying for the nitty gritty things. I'll give you another example here. So with this, let's say I want to disable this network adapter or basically I can't, I can disable this by hitting disable and that would kind of, and I right click, I hit disable and then I'll hit enable again. And that would basically kind of refresh my network. It kind of runs it, a lot of things like a, um, a flush and renew on the IP address and everything like that. It'll try to rejoin my network, but you saw how long it kind of takes to do this and it's still taking a little bit of time to connect. I'm gonna show you guys even how we can make this even quicker by typing in this command, config slash release. And then if I hit the up arrow, I can type in renew. And now I've just kind of reset my network adapter sort of and got a new IP address. So it can do that. There's other things that you can type in. There's other command lines. But how can I type in I and get that command? I created what's called a batch script. And I think I told you guys this. I've done multiple takes on these videos. So I is actually a batch script. And if we look at the batch script, it's not really that hard. Um, so I'll give you an example of how to create a batch script. We're going to open up Notepad because everybody knows how to use Notepad. I'm not going to save this. And we will basically take a look here at this. And if I type in something like ipconfig slash renew and then ipconfig slash release, basically that get, I mean, except I should do it in this, this way. Basically that gives the computer a command to tell it that it needs to renew and release. I mean, release and renew. So what I can actually call this is a batch so and i gotta make sure that i save my type as all files but i can type in something for example that says um i don't know we'll, we'll make it something easy we'll call it r for um or n for network um we gotta say dot bat so i save this to my desktop but notice that this is actually where the location of the file is so i actually have to copy that into this location, meaning I have to go to that path and paste that in. Now, granted, I probably could run a command line to do that, but again, this is also proving my point that sometimes if you don't know every command to do that or don't want to do it, in some ways it'll take longer, I would think, to than to do that. So there are some things it's quicker to type a command line in, and there are other things that it's quicker to just copy and paste in. And this this is definitely the case here. So I'm gonna open actually up a new one with the Windows E shortcut. I also love shortcut keys, they make my life easier. So if I go into desktop, I have something called uh, N for network, and I'm gonna paste that into the system32 folder. And I can't really save directly to it, that's why I had to paste it in, but watch my point. Now what it's gonna do what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to like renew and release it. And as you can see, it ran that command right there. So, so again, typing in commands, typing in batch files, typing in little things and putting it in shortcuts can just make life easier on your main computer. Obviously you can't type in all of these commands to every single computer. Otherwise you're going to have to copy in all the batch files that you've made to make your life easier. That's up to you. In fact, it might actually in the long run be better to do that. So the last 
reason why you might want to do this other than the fact that it saves you a lot of time in some cases as you can see you might want to just compare it with a stopwatch like i did to really understand the difference and to make your life quicker i mean it's just better in some ways to make things easier for you work smart not hard someone told me and if that person is watching comment down below so the next thing that i want to talk about is why it's better so obviously i put a command line uh, prompt right there we're going to talk about really quickly this is going to end this video because it's already been long enough on why it's better to run command line so command line doesn't just have to be in a command prompt it can be in other places for example my server here that i have i don't want it doing everything in the world so having it just run a command line interface will just tell it what i need it to run i don't need it to run a graphic user interface i don't need it to run all these resources in fact i rather not have it run all these resources because i have limited access on this computer to to ram 32 gigs which i mean seems like a lot but it builds up and when you're in a data environment or or a place like this it's better to just use a command line interface to do the simple things you want it to do as a server. But that's pretty much it. I like command lines, and as you can see, in some ways, it's quicker in in some perspectives to use a graphic user interface, but in a lot of cases here, especially administrative tasks that you're doing, it's quicker to use your keyboard. And that goes the same with switches, that goes the same with a lot of things, unless you're not sure of the command, in which case, if you don't have time to learn the command, then you can use the GUI. And in some ways, yes, it's instant gratification right there, then and there, and it's fantastic. But in the long run, maybe you're better off learning some of these commands to make your lives easier. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video, if it was too long. And if you need to have any questions or anything about command line stuff, I'm basic, but I understand how to do some of the stuff. Give me a comment uh, down below. Give me a like if you like this video. Give me a dislike if you dislike this video. And stay tuned for more videos.